I'm Andrew, aka Quasi, from Quasi's Bell Tower. And I'm your brother Ryan, from Brother Ryan Discoveries. And this is Point Rock Review. Review. Mm. drink for the night is Jack Daniels lemonade or uh, Lunchburg Lin Lynchburg 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 no a lemonade yes no lemonade no yeah 4.8 percent alcohol by volume by the way and it's a small little bottle it's only a 10 ounce bottle www.countrycocktails.com yeah, it just has flavored beer. Settling mm. may occur. Contains FD and C yellow number five. Oh no! Brewed and bottled by Jack Daniels Beverage Company, Louisville, Kentucky. It's a twisty. Okay, and there's really nothing all that else fancy no, about the label. About it. Nope. I'm I mean, not, do this. I'm not liking that smell. Yeah, I know you're not liking that smell. Is there any carbonation in these? I don't think there is at all. No. Not at all. Maybe a little bit. Itty bitty. It's talking to you, Brian. Yeah, maybe a hint of carbonation. Yeah. That's about it. Alright. Well, it smells like lemonade. Yeah, it does. And Brian's like, I like this. <laughs> nope. Well, let's drink this, Brian, and see how much you don't like this. Alright. It's not as lemony as I thought it would be. No. This isn't really that bad. I gotta be honest. Um, what I hate about lemons, I was smelling a little bit when I smelled this. But when I started drinking, it's not even there. Mm -hmm. It's like, I could drink this. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. I, I could definitely drink this too. I could see me, uh, someone give me a Jack, Jack Daniels lemonade. I, mm -hmm. I want some. That's good. Well, the sugar, you can tell there's a fair amount of sugar in this, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's, it's not like, oh my god, I'm going to be bouncing off the walls, that's for sure. It's got enough just to say it's lemonade, but it's not overpowering with lemonade or with sugar. It's a good blend. Hmm. Our next beer for the evening is Jack Daniels Black Jack Cola. So I guess this is their, uh, probably their attempt at uh, Jack Daniels with cola. Jack and Coke? Yeah, Jack and Coke. The alcohol on this is exactly the same as the lemonade, 4.8. It's even got the same deal, flavored beer. Flavored beer. Flavored beer. Yeah. Flavored, beer. <laughs> <laughs> flavored beer, settling may occur, brewed and bottled by Jack Daniels Beverage Company, Louisville, Kentucky. No, there's no settlement in there at all. I can see that already. But, so, I don't know, Brian, let's open this up. Crack it open, see what it smells like. Uh, twisty in my hand, too. Oh, there we go. Didn't look right either on camera, probably. <laughs> okay, I'm it getting, smells like a soda. Yeah, it's, it I'm smells a like little, a cola. Yeah, I'm getting a little of the cola smell, but nothing else. Oh, it's fuzzy, like a carbonation, kind of like a soda. Yeah, it's like a soda. Oh, yeah, that smells like a Jack and Coke. Mm hmm. Now it's yeah. Now, now you're, now you're getting the the Jack Daniels yeah, the rum and coke smell in it yeah. That's a Jack and Coke. That's so uh, let's do this, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, you can taste the uh, like their their attempt at putting uh, the, the rum in, it, in there. You know, the whiskey's in there. Yeah, the whiskey is in there. Yeah. Which I like. I'm a whiskey guy. I can. I can. I can down like a whole bottle of whiskey. And uh, that tastes really good. They got enough of a mix there. Mm -hmm. I just, I really wish they would have used some kind of stronger cola. Like, a, you could tell that's not Coca Cola. And no. it's not Pepsi either. No. I think it would have been a little better if they did. But uh, what they got going here, this isn't bad. I'm, I yeah, kind of like this. This is good. This is good too. I don't think I can see me drinking a lot of these because. That that uh, Jack Daniels and Coke taste there. I mean, I I remember drinking those, you know, when I was 
anywhere between 18 and 21 mm -hmm. and I like them but I realize those those can backfire on you too. Oh, yeah, I've gotten sick off of them one night. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had my experiences with that. Of course that night wasn't Jack Daniels that was like a, a generic a generic uh, one. Yeah. Jack Daniels you've uh, kind of done really well with these two already. I like these. So our first review tonight is Jack Daniels Lynchburg Lemonade. Did I say that right this you said time? That right. Okay. Um, this was really good. Uh, the lemonade wasn't really overpowering lemonade. Uh, the alcohol wasn't overpowering. Um, this was like the, just the the right amount, I think, if you wanted a lemonade uh, beer that had some alcohol in it. Mm -hmm. It's low in the alcohol, which I think which makes it really good. I think if they went any higher, it would have killed it would kill the beer, I think. Right. I think um, so too. I really like this. It definitely meets the bar. It's a good amount. I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go three point five on this. Ooh. Yeah, I really like that. I think you guys got a good mix in there. Um Jack Daniels, which you're, whatever you're doing, um keep going in that direction. Um I think you're uh, you're you're going to compete a little bit with like the uh, the Henrys or the Not Your Fathers. I mean, by make not really making sodas that or alcohol that tastes like soda, but by just adding your own little twist to things. To I mean, I think you'll be right on that bad wagon. Mm -hmm. And uh, quite honestly, with the uh, the lemonade, what I hate about lemonade, I didn't taste in that at all. And uh, it's like I wasn't chugging it fast to get rid of it. It was just because it tasted so damn good. <laughs> Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna have to go four on that one. Okay. The second beer we tested was the Jack Daniels Black Jack Cola, their version of the Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought they did a really interesting job with this. Uh, you can tell the cola is a very generic cola. Um, I think if they had if they had like gotten in league with like Coke to help promote, but I don't know if Coke would really want to jump on an alcoholic bandwagon. Yeah, but if they had done something like that, I think it would have made it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But as it is right now, I'm quite impressed with it. Um, this one, I don't think I'm going to go quite the four that I gave the other one. This one, I'm going to end up going like 3.5. But uh, if that if that was like a Pepsi or a Coke, I think that would have escalated quickly to either a four or 4.5. But 3.5 as it stands. Okay. Um, I remember drinking a lot of uh, Jack and Coke uh, back in my younger days, um, and I liked them, and sometimes somebody would make them too strong or too weak. Uh, this is like a good mix of it. It's just like just enough alcohol and just enough soda, um, even though the soda kind of tastes a little watered down maybe, but it's definitely there, the, the, the Coke or soda, whatever you want to call it, pop, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it was just the right amount, and uh, I could see me drinking these again. Um, I don't know about drinking a whole six pack in one day, but uh, probably not. Um, I will definitely give this one a three point five. So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons for you to blackjack that like button right in the eye. Ow! <laughs> Till next time, guys. Bye. That works. Blackjack button. <laughs> So our first re beer in re beer re beer re beer <laughs> hey re beer me <laughs>